instance, early detection of breast cancer and treatment in early phase is the most important control mechanism for breast cancer ever, breast cancer death ever invented. Today, we only have time to talk about the heterogeneity of the normal breast structure. Isn't that interesting that unlike any other organs, the breast have five structurally normal, structurally different parenchymal patterns. Now the and this is the sad thing, the same case showing this very extensive carcinoma on MR. And if I put the mammogram beside it, this one, you just don't see it. But it's very well visible on ultrasound and very well visible on MR. It's much simpler to perform ultrasound examination, preferably automated breast ultrasound examination. Yes, photography is a visual art. And of course, if we are very good in looking at the details, by adding another method and the other method, then we are going to see the building blocks of these pictures, contrast enhanced mammography, MR, anything. The radiologist knowledge has to be based on 3D large format, thick section histopathology. What does that mean? The terminal ductal lobular units, the yellow background, the fibrosis, and so on. So by knowing these four basic building blocks, you gained another knowledge, namely, you can understand histopathology. Did I talk about that? So here comes the x-ray and the x-ray images this terminal ductal lobular unit. And so what do you see on the mammogram? A one and a half, two millimeters sized nodular oval shaped density. Dear colleagues, this is the most important number one basic building block. But how come that I can distinguish one from another and from another? Because there is another one, our friend, another basic building block, and it's called adipose tissue. While the TDLU is radio opaque, this is radio lucent. And of course, your fingers might have 120. The number of your fingers can be 120. In that case, the terminal ductal lobular units are larger. Well, that's no problem. That's what we call adenosis. So we have managed one and two basic building blocks. And what is this? Well, this is the major lactiferous duct. And once, upon, once again, the X-ray is going to make it visible as linear densities and separated by fat, linear uh, radiolucent areas. So that would be basic building block number three. And then comes the trouble. We can handle one, two, and three basic building blocks, but both you and me look like this, when the fourth one, fibrosis, comes into the picture. Why? The breast with ultrasound, that's automated breast ultrasound. I can see the TDLUs, I can see the fat, and I can see ducts. Isn't that fantastic? You can hardly make a distinction which one is the mammogram and which one is ultrasound. That's the ingenuity. We do things. We do two things. 
she's lying supine, which makes the fibroglandular tissue thinner. And the second is that we are compressing. And that's what ultrasound likes. And here it is. It's automatic. And mind you, we are not interested in examining with ultrasound the fatty portion. We only want to examine the dense portion. And uh, it was published, namely, it saves money. It says, it's an Italian author. It says that in case Italy introduced automated breast ultrasound, they could save 54 million euro a year. It's duct forming invasive carcinoma. The cancer cells penetrate the basement membrane and produce side branches. But right now, in this lecture, we don't talk about this because this is not a topic of ultrasound. However, so in this case, mammography screening in this particular case failed. Automated breast ultrasound succeeded to find this carcinoma while it was still localized to the breast, maxillary. But there is a so-called artificial intelligence for ultrasound, and it's called CAD, company QView. And here we are. You see, ultrasound examination, ultrasound altogether, likes to go through a thin tissue and to flatten that rat. But of course, the ABUS is correct too. Very easy to find the architectural distortion. And of course, the handheld ultrasound shows how bad this disease is. But on the mammogram, nobody can find it, but it's palpable. Here is the BB, the lead mark. And now you see the cutoff sign. And of course, all this is course in our very nicely shown on handheld ultrasound. Shown on MR, I put to you again. Dear colleagues, can you find that 22 millimeter carcinoma here? Just tell me, white or light, right or left? Well, nine out of 10 radiologists miss the carcinoma, and that's not fair. So there are two solutions and not either or, but the combination. One of them is automated breast ultrasound because this is mission impossible to see through. The other one is going to be the AI, or artificial intelligence. So where is the cancer? Let's ask artificial intelligence first. And it says, look here, there is a carcinoma. You just missed it. And what about automated breast ultrasound? piece of cake. Really no problem. Here's the black hole. And it's actually 